So, I thought I was done with this game. And then, I was going to get on to get some pictures of things for something. But, then I noticed that I forgot to do the intel. Attendant Dr. Kingsley. Patient identity unknown. This is day seven of the medical appraisal. I'm updating the but status let's enjoy of the this. John Doe Castathan that the miners found on the Rivas Trail. I'm very happy and frankly shocked to report that he's doing much better. He hasn't regained consciousness, but it looks like it shouldn't be long. Just to reiterate, in case my recorder is still leaving digi hits, this patient suffered massive wounds to the chest and head. There is no way he should still be alive. These are the worst injuries I've ever seen on a survivor, and I was an ERA medic during the war. I think the next logical step in treatment would be to... embarked on salvage operations in the northern bunkers. They demanded our food for their reserves. A small contingent of Iron Demon soldiers have remained behind with us, and I fear their next objective. One called Captain Cooper, and another called Lieutenant Noland, have given me their word that none of us will be harmed, but I have my reservations. 
Sorry to interrupt, old man. We got problems. An Ikaru comm troop is approaching from the south. Me and Nolan will make sure you guys are safe. But it wouldn't hurt if you had some of your men pick up a weapon. Captain, my men are not fighters. You'd be inviting them to slow... My diplomatic efforts have failed. War has returned. Peace has been shattered by the first exchanges of gunfire between the Iron Demons and the Ikarukom. At first, they stood their ground, humans to the north and Votans to the south. But we are now caught in the crossfire. I bought enough time to see some of my people escape across the bay. It is only a matter of time before we become casualties of war. To my great surprise, a handful of soldiers have risen as noble defenders. Captain Cooper and Lieutenant Nolan have kept their word, and they have even formed an allegiance with some Votan soldiers. These men are referring to our fallen utopia as Fort Defiance. Where once I thought war would corrupt our ideals, it is our vision of peace that has corrupted them. For that, I am thankful. But because of it, we will all die. Mijita, how is that hailer coming? Almost done. Don't use too much solder on the circuit. Dad, I've done this like a thousand times, okay? You're right, you're right. My little girl knows what she's doing. Why are you looking at me like that? Cooper tells me that the troops are closing in. Then we'll defend ourselves. Let me get back to work. I have a lot to... Please. Ugh. Close your eyes. Dad. Just give me one minute, mijita. Fine. Do you remember when Mama and me would take you and your brothers to get some ice cream and sit by the beach? Of course. Remember the sand? The wind? People just walking along, nothing to worry about. Can you see it? Yes. What you see in your head right now, I never want you to forget. What our planet was before terraforming. The wars, and everything got so... Okay, Dad. Take this recorder. Whatever happens, you'll always be able to hear my voice. And Mija. Let people know this place was worth fighting for. and slow mutations. This is your voice of the new frontier, Weston Marks. News of the day. We are still riding the hate train to total annihilation. But hear this. A little canary landed on my shoulder yesterday and whispered that there may be a diamond glimmering deep down this dirty coal mine we call home. There is supposedly an interspecies utopia thriving out in old Frisco, a mirage in the desert? Maybe. Could such a place exist? We're talking humans and Sensoths dining together. Liberatas and Arathians playing together. Cats and dogs napping together. Now I know there are skeptics out there, and color me one of them. So, my loyal listeners, I put the burden of proof on you. I want photos, videos, and first-hand accounts. Then... I want you to book me a smoking room in their finest hotel. And don't forget the scotch in the minibar. Until next time, Weston Marks signing off. I never screwed out of any tech. I don't have
that much. But whatever is at my place is yours. They got a goddamn giant mech marching around out here, squashing every damn thing. It's only a matter of time before they see me. Oh, shit. This, this is it, Loma. I don't know why I never told you this. What was that? I've always loved you. You will regret coming here. Greetings and slow mutations. Today's word, war. 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 Dark Matter is back. You probably remember them from a snappy little number they were known for a decade ago called Genocide of the Human Race. The E-Reps are mobilized, shots have been fired, and we are talking showdown in the Bay Area. Questions remain. Why now? Why San Francisco? Why am I not broadcasting from a bunker? My loyal listeners, I don't need to remind you that this area was given a botched facelift in the Pale Wars. Dark Matter and Uncle E-Rep are both death dealers, so imagine the hand we're going to be dealt this time. I fold, I'm out. It's a tainted deck. If you're smart, you're already packing and heading east before the end of this transmission. If you're an old fool like me, you're digging a hole, hunkering down, and hoping for the best. Until next time, and that may be foolish optimism, be good to each other, stay safe, don't stop questioning, defiance and all that. This is Weston Marks. your telegram this morning. Old St. Louis, huh? Them calling it defiance is a hell of a choice. And I'm sure a reasonable and level-headed gentleman like yourself will stay out of trouble there. Speaking of, Varys hasn't forgotten about you. Anyway, we had a little bump in the road back here. Christ, I don't know how it's possible, but that son of a bitch Nim Shandu actually survived the Battle of Defiance. Now, before your blood pressure spikes, he's dead. Again. For good this time. Some of Dark Matter remains, but I don't expect there'll be much more than a band of thugs without Nim pulling the strings. There's something else you need to know. Nim knew about our little secret, sitting under Fort Defiance. He came for it. It's no longer an issue. As in, uh, not functional. Let's go. Things are already looking better here. Paradise is built around some strong people, and overcoming something like this, it kind of renewed people's spirits. We're gonna be all right. Christ, I don't know why I'm bothering you with this shit. I bet you've already found the best bar in town out there. Just grab a drink, forget all this. Take care of yourself, you old son of a bitch. That's it. That's everything, all the lore that we could have on 2050. Which is disappointing because the thing is, there's still multiple DLCs that they didn't even bother to put in this version. Sad. Um. Oh. Yeah. Which I'll, I'll explain right now. It's, um, the first one is known as, um, Silicon Valley, which you find Nolan. I mean, not Nolan, um, you run, you come face to face with Von Bach. And what happens is you go through a series of DLCs where he has an ego in his head that's trying to take over. It's like the mind, it's like 
a massive prime ego that's trying to take over everything. It's where the grid even come from. Apparently the grid, it, it was supposed to be related to the grid also, the entire story. Like you finally would find out what they are, you would find out what they are and where they come from and everything. The story they give you here is just a pale imitation of them trying to put the grid in 2050. Which is sad. I really wish I would, I really wish I had the time to play the original Defiance game. I can't even find footage of anyone actually doing, like, the um, DLCs of the original Defiance game so I can see that story and explain it, but... It's disappointing that this is what it's become. I guess it makes sense that it's shutting down. They knew they... F they knew they screwed up. That's why they're getting rid of this. They, honestly, they should just shut down 2050. And keep the original Defiance. Like, actually put all your money into that. And then, um... You can, um... Keep that going. Keep that up and running for good. And everybody would be happy about that. Even if... Anyway. Uh, this is going to be the true final episode. This is the end. Everything. We have all that we need. Um, so yeah, I'm actually gonna just sit and try to get that's cool. Oh. I have to do this but yeah like I said I just wanted to get pictures of I'm making I'm doing a roleplay character that is actual tales but I'm gonna have art and stuff him and things and that's why I need to get art I need to get like screenshots of the weapons and the uh, outfit and stuff to give to someone and that time comes but yeah that's the end of this it. it's over no more of this game when it comes to trying this story or plot or anything i'm sad i'm disappointed i want to go cry anyway bye bye